Epilogue Paget had graduated with honors, and Adam had introduced her to his friends and employers at an internet vlogging and podcasting show. They were impressed by her portfolio, and she was able to start part-time co-hosting a show with a chance at full-time work should things work out. She also landed a part-time job at a local radio station, which saw her getting coffees and doing research work, but she didn't mind. It was a start, and both were steady paychecks. Max was working toward managing the demolition company. The owner wanted to retire and was slowly handing over the responsibilities and the company over. It would be a long process, but Max was happy to have the opportunity to work hard for such an achievement, even if he didn't enjoy all the paperwork. Paget was very proud of him. Finally, except for the student loan, both of their debts had been paid off. It had taken over a year of hard work and careful balancing. Now they could breathe a lot easier about their finances, which is why they had been planning the wedding. A classy but less costly country club just after Thanksgiving when it was cheaper to rent. Flowers that were in season rather than imported and expensive. Fewer guests than most society weddings. Paget didn't care. It was going to be wonderful. And if she chose to get her dress from the discount rack, at least it was paid for. They argued gently about who to invite. Mostly it would be friends. However, Max's family was a problem. While he wanted to invite his mother, his father had rejected him. He wasn't certain if she would come. Noah and Elle were already friends with Paget and a great support. Elle had managed to steer Paget through a lot of the wedding planning hoops already. It was Michael that concerned Max the most. All they could do was invite him and hope that he would come. Paget moved the wedding invitation samples across the kitchen table and tried to think of what script she would like best. Max had stated a preference for red to match the bridesmaid's dresses, but Paget wasn't sure. The doorbell rang. Paget looked at Max in surprise. I thought you said you were going out to grab dinner. I am. I'll get it in a minute. Max smiled at her as he opened the door. The smile slipped away as he looked at the man before him. Older, impeccably dressed, with just a touch of gray at the temples. Paget could tell that they were related. It took a moment before Max could say his brother's name in surprise. Michael. If you enjoyed Max and Paget's story in the Reverse Cinderella, book two of the Ramsley Brothers series, then continue the magic with Michael and Anne's story in Unspoken Words, book three of the Ramsley Brothers series. Unspoken Words Just his secretary. Anne Schaefer has loved her boss for years, but he's never picked up on any of the hints, small or large, that she's given him. Finally, she's decided he never will. So she's put in her resignation and is going to find her happily ever after without him. What he never said. Michael Ramsley is the oldest of billionaire David Ramsley's sons. He's been in love with Anne for a long time, but the boss doesn't date his employees. Now Anne has quit at the very worst time, right after a life-threatening prognosis. Finally, Michael realizes the worst thing that can happen is losing Anne. Can he convince her to stay when he can no longer say the words? You can find Unspoken Words and the other books from the Ramsey Brothers series on Amazon. If you have Kindle Unlimited, they can be downloaded there as well.